Hey everyone, and a massive welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're taking a deep dive into a fantastic Android launcher that promises to streamline your phone usage and make navigation a breeze, Pi Launcher. If you're tired of the traditional grid of app icons and are looking for a more intuitive and efficient way to access your favorite applications, then you've definitely come to the right place. We've all been there, scrolling through pages of apps trying to find that one specific icon. Pylauncher throws that old system out the window and introduces a clever alternative, a dynamic Pi menu. Instead of static icons, you get a customizable circular menu that you can access with a simple swipe from any edge of your screen. This isn't just about looking cool, it's about making your most used apps readily available, exactly when and where you need them. As you can see, it's incredibly intuitive. With a quick swipe and release, your chosen app launches instantly. The animation is fluid and satisfying, making the whole experience feel very natural. This method of access is designed to be faster and more ergonomic, reducing the strain on your thumbs as you navigate your device. Now, what about those apps you don't use every single day? The ones that often get buried in folders or on secondary home screens, Pi Launcher has you covered there too. Simply tap anywhere on your screen, yes, anywhere, and a search bar will appear. Just start typing the name of the app you're looking for, and Pi Launcher will quickly filter and display the results, allowing you to launch it with a tap. This is a fantastic feature for those less frequently used apps, keeping your main Pi menu clean and focused. Let me know in the comments below what your initial thoughts are on Pi Launcher and what apps you'd put in your Pi menu. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more app reviews and Android customization tips, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.